Hey, good afternoon and welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. So this isn't my normal video. I don't usually release videos like this on Wednesdays, but I thought it was super important for me to get this information out because it's a real big safety factor and it could severely injure people or possibly kill people because working under vehicles can be very dangerous, especially if a jack stand fails. And there is a big recall on Harbor Freight jack stands. Let's take a look at it. So for you guys that know me and follow my channel, you know that I'm always uh, promoting safety and that's why I do things like whenever I'm working under my vehicle, I use more than one jack stand and on top of that, I do things like I throw my spare tire underneath just as another backup safety measure and I'm so glad I have done that, especially in this case. Here you can see I obviously have my wheel off. I'm uh, working on uh, actually my fuel tank right now. Uh, my fuel inlet hose was leaking, but I'm using these uh, Harbor Freight jack stands. Clearly I'm using two of them here, and I just like the redundancy of the backup, but you guys definitely need to check out your jack stands and make sure they're not part of this recall. And here it is, the three ton and six ton jack stands have both been recalled. On the uh, three ton stand here, it's item number 56371. And then on the six ton jack stand, same thing. Item number 61196 or 61197. And it is labeled down at the bottom on that sticker down there. And they're offering anybody with these jack stands store credit. So bring the jack stands back to Harbor Freight and they'll give you credit for the price of these at the time of your purchase. So super important to do that. Don't mess around crawling under vehicles with something as important to this as this. And I actually found out about this recall during my live stream today. I actually did a, a live stream where I made my very first weld with this uh, titanium Harbor Freight, right? Everybody likes Harbor Freight. It has uh, fairly decent tools and expensive, so not to knock them, but you know, I'm glad they're uh, offering the refund on these for that recall, super important. But I made my very first welds ever live on my live stream not pretty, I'm open to feedback, but for somebody with zero experience and nobody here in my shop teaching me, I just had to go on what I learned on my own, not bad, at least that's the feedback I got. Not bad for my very first welds. Um, I'm still looking for input if you guys have ideas. Let me, let me tell you what I did on these real quick. So I adjusted the wire speed on all of these. The wire speed on this one was at 250. This was my very first weld, very first weld of my life second, third, and then all, so this was a 250, 220, and then 200 on the wire speed. All of these were at uh, 220. This one, I actually burned through the metal because I'm trying to figure out how to finish my welds. You can see here, they when I finish, they all have a divot, and uh, I guess I'm just not, uh, I'm not releasing the gun, releasing the trigger properly, but please, yeah, offer some feedback, I'm open to, to criticism and uh, input on how to improve my welds. Of course, I hear and know that it's practice, 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 but it is not easy. Welding is an art. But anyways, wanted to get that information up real quick about the recall on the jack stands. Super important, take care of that if you do have Harbor Freight jack stands. If you're new to my channel, follow along. I'm all about repairs and maintenance, doing things on Jeeps yourself to save a ton of money. Thank you guys, and uh, I'll catch you on Friday's video right up here. Have a good day. better at that.